My name is Leanne O'Banion and I'm a vascular surgeon at UCSF Fresno who specializes in lymph salvage. When approaching patients with chronic lymph-threatening ischemia, it is important to have a revascularization plan that allows for pulsatile flow into the foot, thereby meeting the threshold pressure required for wound healing and alleviation of breast pain. Critical components to revascularization strategies are patient risk, the anatomic complexity of disease, and severity of lymph threat. While I do favor a single segment gray saponous vein bypass for the treatment of CLTI, often various circumstances make an endovascular approach the appropriate choice. In my patient population, over 70% of patients have diabetes and 25% of those will also have concomitant renal disease. This leads to heavily calcified lesions in the periphery, which can be difficult to treat. When approaching these lesions, it's important to keep the goal in mind, which is gaining pulsatile flow into the foot safely and effectively. I typically favor an up and over approach, but will often go integrate if the patient has known isolated below the knee disease to gain improved pushability. IVIS allows for accurate measurement of reference vessel diameters to appropriately size shockwave balloons in a 1.1 to 1 ratio and identify areas of maximal calcification to focus on pulse delivery. In patients with extensive medial arterial calcification, I've often found it necessary to deliver the sonic waves across the entire length of calcium, specifically in the tibial lesions, to obtain optimal results. The E8 device will better allow for this treatment strategy given the longer balloon lengths and increased pulses available. Post-intervention IVIS is also critical to determine effectiveness of treatment and whether any further adjunctive treatments are necessary. Drug-coded technology is utilized heavily in my practice and will continue to expand into the BTK space as technology evolves in with newer devices. Utilizing all of these tools allows for optimal outcomes in a difficult patient population to achieve limb salvage, which is the ultimate goal.